Hey, what's up, my Dokus? Jason here. Roll you back to another episode of The Legend of Zelda Spirit Tracks. Last time, we figured out our way to get here to the Snow Temple by the help of Ferris, who gave us a map that gave us the directions of the Spirit Tracks that led us all the way here to the Snow Temple. Just take a look at that. So, uh, and we basically got here, and that's where we ended, because I felt that each temple kind of deserves its own episode, because of how short these temples can be. So this time, let's go ahead and start the snow temple. There are some keys starting off here. Pretty strange, if you ask me. But eh. Doesn't really matter. Oh, hello. Look at that bell over there. I wonder if it, there's some sort of trick to it. Well, let's start off by, I guess, pushing it over there, and then... Oh, of course he... Go ahead and defeat these guys. Hit it twice! By the way, the reason I need to do that is because there's a music thing right here. That tells us you should give it two clanks. Okay, now let's go. We're gonna have to do a little ice block puzzle. I hate when my nose itches. Okay. We push this this way. This way. And finally this way. Gosh darn it, my nose. Just like randomly it itches, so then you gotta scratch it. It's strange. Okay, let's head out here, which is now like kind of the outside of the area. I don't know. Okay, we're gonna aim here. What we have to do is aim there. Put and blow, and that guy's thing, you know, open the way for us. Not gonna bother with these guys for now because we don't have anything we can use to really defeat them. So let's go ahead and walk downstairs. We're in the basement one. Okay. Go ahead and blow that. That will open the door up ahead. Oops. Dang it. Okay, go ahead and just push this along. Now we're gonna push this one in. Blow that back in your face, sir. Come on, blow good down there. There's a chest that we can get. 20 rupees! Not bad, we have 705 rupees right now. I hope we can find something to spend those on. Okay, there we go, head into here. Alright, next step looks like just head into this room. What do we have here? Oh, hello. I'm gonna go ahead and use our whirlwind on these little guys, because that's the only way to defeat them. By the way, you have to defeat them fast or else they will... They will go back into the those torches and regain their icy abilities. Okay, there we go. Looks like that gives us a big chest. Let's go ahead and open that big chest. Alright, gives us the boomerang. Alright, new item. Excellent. 
And with this boomerang, we can go ahead and just hit these. Go ahead and run up here. And we are now in a different part of the dungeon. I'm gonna wanna remember this. Goes low top or low high high low. Or low middle high high middle. Something like that. Okay, I'm gonna wanna push that to the door. Then we're gonna hit that switch. This will unlock the the door for us. To where we can push this out. Now we're gonna gonna do another block puzzle. It looks like with these little fellas. Okay. I should have pushed it up from the beginning. I was stupid. I literally hate how I take like the most, the longest path because I didn't know that you know. I didn't remember that you could do just go up. By the way, I think this is funny. Look at this. If you if Link walks up to one of those spells, he literally looks like he's in a fighting his fighting stance for like a boss fight. It's funny because he's just like is ready for in a fighting stance. But anyway, now we're, if we do bottom, top, top, bottom, or just medium, high, high, medium. Whatever you want to call it, that unlocks the door down here. Let's go ahead and walk down. It looks like we have our next little puzzle here. I'm actually what I want to do. Let's go ahead and just go around here. That will reveal the next section or the numbers that you need to light these torches in. Which will unlock that door. Excellent. Very nice. Go ahead and head down. Looks like we need a key for that. Go ahead and draw a path, draw a path with an ice. Yeah, it's another form of the boomerang. So we can create paths using the ice. Beautiful aspects of the snow temple right there. All right, unlock this door. Now we're going to want to do some melting because, yeah, these enemies here, they're just Octoroks hiding under ice. Isn't that original? Alright, uh, let's go ahead and take those down. That opens the doors for us. Well, the one door and then the actual door we need. Next, we'll just go ahead and grab this fire and melt that. Try to create a path for ourselves. And brand a whirl the whirlwind. Oh, excuse me. And we can now head into this upper area. Alright. And just... We basically have to create a path all the way to the end. But first, we have ourselves a stamp station. Go ahead and mark that stamp station. Okay, I think now we just need to light all these torches and make a path for ourselves all the way back to- or all the way down here. Did I miss... No... Hmm. I didn't miss a torch. Oh, 
Unless the torch is up here. No, it's not. Where's the other torch? I could have sworn if you lighted all the torches, something happened. Oh wait, no, it's if you defeat all these enemies, that's right. I feel silly. Dang it. Dang it! Okay, it's only if you defeat all the enemies that something appears. My bad. Oh! Fudge sickles. Save me! Thank you. Okay, now we come over here, slice that. And now the chest appears. Yeah, I, I got that wrong. That was my fault. Go ahead and make a path back over here. Open this chest. Get ourselves a big green rupee. 100 rupees. Again, we're just rolling in the bank right now. I really hope that we can get something that will, you know, benefit ourselves. Okay, we're gonna push this up, over, down, over, up. Okay, we need to make a path over there, but first I want to come down here. Because if you do... Because if you notice there, there wasn't any really given place where the... You know, our next little set to open the next door will be. So what we can do... Is, there it is, there's our next one. We have low, high, or medium, medium, high, medium. Gotta remember that. Next, what I'm going to do is go ahead and go all over the place with this. And then push it over. Go ahead and make a path. Activate switch. This will open that door. And it, there's a chest up here to grab. Red Rupee. Okay, I'm gonna want to light this torch and then light this one because then a chest will appear up there but we also need this torch to make a path for our bell to go down oops okay just now to push the bell all the way down there Over, there, and there. Okay, so now it's this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. And that's the final block or bell puzzle that we have to worry about. So go ahead and open the chest, 20 rupees. Grab ourselves a heart. Don't really care about you, but thanks. I'll head up the stairs, and there's the boss door right there. But first, we're gonna have to head down here. Oh, we can actually, with our new acquired boomerang, we can now just dizzy or daze these guys. And this is our puzzle. Our will help answer a puzzle in this room up here in the upper left. So let's do circle for fire, X for ice. Okay. Now this puzzle can be tricky. So what we're going to want to do for this is stand here in the middle. We're going to take light all those and then light this one. 
there we go. Simple, easy, swift. And we thought we were rid of these guys, but it looks like they're back here in the snow temple. We couldn't go the entire snow temple without them. Okay, go ahead and hit this switch. Then use the whirlwind to blow the boss key over. Now we can just walk it over and stick it in. Alright, let's head on in. I guess if you need any hearts, you can grab those, but we don't need any. Step into blue light to return to the temple's entrance. And I guess let's head up and confront the boss. Fraz, Master of Icy Fire. Alright, starting off this fight, the reason I actually turned... Or I turned it into this view, it, there is a valid reason for this. And it'll be coming up as soon as we take him down from his first form. Yes, his he the enemies or these little enemies, their heads will be will be turned into the color of ice or fire. You're going to want to shoot them with that opposite element, and you know then it will fuse back together into frass. This is actually a very unique way of showing off the DS's capabilities, because you have to basically use the the upper screen t to figure out where. Uh, Frez is like which one Frez or which I guess little frag guy I don't know what they call him like little Frez mini mini Frezes or whatever you have to be which one is fire and which one is ice and then hit them with that opposite element okay so let's go ahead and try to see if we can take him down again usually I do this around three times so be prepared for that I'm terrible at dodging these ice attacks though and I usually like if it's the if he uses two of the same element in the row, I usually just hit him with that same element because it makes the speed go by faster than just waiting. Okay, now he's back to little guys, so we have to have to wait for the little guys to shoot, you know, this, their elements at us. So come on. Okay, there we go. Then we'll use fire against ice and ice against or not. Dang it! Yeah, if you don't get it right in the timing, he revives his part friend. Okay, so... Let's try this again. Hit him. Thank you. There we go. Then I'll regroup. Now we're just going to wait for Frez to give off his attack. He's going to give off the same attack twice. Oh, he freaking iced me. He put me on ice, how dare he. Dang it, he freaking got me. work 
That was like stupid. And the ice wore off. Okay, we're going to die. Okay, there we go. Let's see if we can finish him off. Or not. Okay, that's fine. It's probably because I took a minute, too many hits that time that I thought I was going to finish him off there. Okay, go ahead and move out of the way of that. Let's see if we can finish him off. Yeah! You did it! You could have been frozen stiff or burned to a crisp, but you avoided both. Sorry I couldn't um, be more help when you were risking your life out there. The snow rail map started glowing. The tracks to the Tower of Spirits have been restored. Alright, let's go ahead and open this chest. Get ourselves a heart container. Beautiful, good. Now we have seven. And let's return to the temple entrance. Great job, Link. Let's go back to the Tower of Spirits and tell Anjean the good news. Yeah, well, I guess that's the only thing we can do. But, no, it's not the only thing we can do. Besides getting a stuff or skull, there are things that we can do now that we have the boomerang. And I think we're going to take care of those before he heading to the Tower of Spirits. So, with that, next time in the Legend of Zelda Spirit Tracks, we're going to head around, you know, the four, or, well, the really the Snow Realm, because I think they're mainly in the Snow Realm is where we can use it. We're going to head around the Snow Realm, using our new newly acquired boomerang to its you know, peaks, as well as return to some, oh, excuse me, familiar places. Well, we have to return to familiar places because that's where they are located before before we head back to the Tower of Spirits. So, with that, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure you give it a like. It truly helps out a ton. Make sure you subscribe to the if you have not already. And I will see you guys all later.